On today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit any PDF with your mobile phone. And guys, um, in order to do this video, I am actually going to do it as smoothly as it is for anybody to understand. But also know that this is just an educational content and it doesn't actually mean any harm. And I hope you don't use it to harm others. Just for a learning purpose now let's start with that so go ahead and open your chrome application and then on your browser or on the url area go ahead and type in this particular url i am um, and then you hit enter and it's going to take you to the uh, default uh, PDF editor just right here. So um, let's go ahead and upload the PDF that we are going to be editing. So click on upload PDF file and select the file folder option and go ahead and choose wherever you have your PDF. I am going to choose document and I'm already under download. If you are not under download, click on this area and you choose exactly where you have your PDF. So I'm going to scroll down and select Ikeja Electricity, which is actually the bill of uh, my um, electricity bill that I just paid recently. And here you can notice there is image, 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 test, 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 images below. Now to start editing this, let's go ahead and dive into that. But before we do that, let me explain this top area. This is actually where you need um, from this top area. This is actually what you need to edit all of your PDF in this page. And also, you also need this to uh, accompany that to edit your PDF. And looking at it on this top area, right, you actually need to see that here you actually get to edit um, the files, everything in the files here. And then on this area, this tool is actually used to deleting the page, zooming into the page or rotating the page if you probably do not have the right page um, rotation. So I'm actually okay with the rotation, but let me just show you guys what the rotation can do. And you notice it says the PDF is a, the PDF rotation page is a separate tool, so not integrated in the PDF editor. I, once you click on continue, it takes you to the PDF rotation page. And then once you click on upload, you'll be able to upload and edit your PDF. But right, I'm going to go back because um, we actually need to edit the PDF not to rotate it so um, to start working um, you actually need to edit I actually want to edit the, the test first which is actually this one on default is already selected but if you do not want to select it just click on it and it will be selected and you notice there is a mouse moving on my mobile phone that is because I'm using an external mouse a mouse that is linked to this device I am going to explain that on a different video so let me scroll down a little bit. I am scrolling down with my thumb, not the mouse. So then to start working, we actually need to zoom in, zoom in more, zoom in more. And then to scroll over to the page where we want to edit, you can just click on this. You can just move like this and it's going to um, move left and it's going to go to where you want to edit. Now, um, I'm just going to close this. Now, you notice our, our tool that we need to use is right here. So to edit the test, click on this test editor, and then you click on the amount because I actually want to change the amount. So I'm going to go forward to where it has in front of one and then add um, two zero and then a comma to make that um, 100K and another zero in front. I think this is 100,000 and I'm okay. And now you notice the image now look a bit weird, right? Now, all you need to do is actually with your thumb or your mouse, you click and hold and you move it to align with the same test um, um, section or line. So click and hold it and you'll be able to move it around and I'm going to move it just close to this area. I think it's perfect. And I am going to leave it. Uh, you notice it now aligns. But now a little issue we have here is that this test is now looking different from other tests. So obviously anybody being um, careful is actually going to notice that we made a change. But do not worry guys, we are going to get to that. So if for some reason I also, um, let me delete this. If for some reason I also want to edit this address right here, I can click on it because they also made a mistake. I can click on it and add... Um, Sorry, I clicked on the wrong word. So um, click and then add 
CNEST35 and there is the address and it actually shifted a little to the front so I'm going to do the same click and hold and then move it right here and this actually perfect so and also I can change this address um, this name displaying here by double clicking and sorry click on it once and then editing the name I think everything is together no problems so edit everything and then trust trust tech so um i can also add talk so i'm okay with that and everything aligns and also guys you can notice that there is a little bit of a change here right if you notice the test the one i edited are now looking different so in order to change them to start looking same way you actually have to click on every test on the page starting from the sources so you click on the success, you click on the uh, description, meta number, type, and every single test on this page, I have to click on everything to start um, to start looking the same way. Um, what it means is actually I edited everything because I cannot have this downloaded or saved up and then um, maybe the person looking at it is obviously going to say, oh, this is definitely um, an alteration and maybe somebody edited this word. So, in order to avoid all of those being found out, I have to make everything look the same. So all you need to do is to click on every test and it actually have to look the same way like the edited ones. So remaining this one. Yeah. So I have everything and everything is looking perfectly well and delete. And right now, I can go ahead and save the image if I want to. But then there is another thing. Let's assume this bank I used to change. I used to make this deposit. I want to have a different bank logo displayed. I already have a bank logo um, downloaded. So you can actually click on the plus and then you download any bank logo. You know what I'm going to search for? Stan, Stan Big Bank logo. And then I'm going to actually have the perfect logo for Stambig Bank right here and I am going to save it up okay um, the image is downloaded and I am going to come back to the um, editor area and then since I do not need this test I am going to delete that to delete that I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to draw over this area and there you go the white space is covered and right now I am going to yeah I'm okay it is hidden I am going to add the image by clicking on this um, image section and adding a new one I am going to select this image I'm going to click on done but it's going to be a little bit big so I'm going to move to this area and I am going to click to the section where I want to have the image display. So I'm going to click and hold and there you go. The image has been added and I am going to reduce it to proportion to the exact proportion that I want. And it fit in perfectly. So this is the big bank um, logo. I, I just realized it's a flag. So if you are okay with everything, let me zoom out. If you are okay with everything, you could actually... Okay, because the image is selected, it could not zoom out. So I am actually okay with everything and I think I am done with the editing and I can now go ahead and save it up when I am finished. So I think I'm actually finished. So all you need to do is actually to click on apply changes and it's going to be applied and you can now download your image successfully and everything is going to look just like you just edited them. So I'm just going to click on save and it's going to be saved or you can just save it to a Google Drive if that is what you want. And the image has been saved. Now I can open it 
and there you go this is actually looking perfect and it's okay just the way i want it is actually not okay the way i want it because i just noticed the success test message went to the left and this is actually the first time it's actually changing proportion but apart from that everything is looking perfect let me actually look at it i think i made the mistake but i didn't know when i did that probably when i was trying to scroll because this test is supposed to be somewhere in the middle i think i made a mistake uh, i can change that though i can change that this select that move to this area click here and outside click and hold move it to the center and then we can download our image again so i did not actually know when these changes actually occurred i think probably when i was moving left and right i didn't notice that i was making any mistake and then it happened so guys it's actually easy editing i am supposed not to take this long to do this video but um in order to explain everything perfectly so that it works the way it looks I have to take all of this time so i think i am done with this video and i hope it's helpful please let me know on the comment section if this helped you and i will see you on my next video please stay safe and peace